Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. Weekly update coming at you right now. Make sure you share this on your platforms. Make sure you get the word out of all that's going on uh, so everybody knows uh, what's happening at Summit. So before we get to announcements, Jake, I want to go back to where we've been the last couple of weeks. Because this last week, I got the coolest story somebody emailed me. And uh, I, I'm praying that you get to hear this story soon uh, as we're kind of uh, thinking through some things and that kind of stuff. But here's what I need from you. Uh, we're starting a series next month called uh, The Story. And we want to hear your stories of what God's doing in your journey, what Summit Heights has meant to you. Uh, just we want to hear it. So I'm not looking for a book. I'm not looking for a long sermon, Jake, like mm -hmm. this announcement. Uh, I'm just looking for maybe two, three, maybe four sentences. Hey, this is what Summit's meant to me. This is what God's doing in our marriage. This is what God's doing in my life. Send that to me. Edward at summitheightsfellowship.com. And man, I'd love to celebrate with you and uh, share that with the church as a whole. One generation shall praise your works to the next generation. And so we want to be that church that's faithful to the next generation. So Jake, that's that's kind of what I was going to start with. I know this Sunday we've got some stuff coming up. What do we got going this Sunday? Well, before we get into this Sunday, I miss the good old days. You remember the good old days, Edward? Which ones? The ones where I would come over here to shoot this video and you would have like egg burritos and well, the last, sausage tacos. Yeah, the last couple of times I've offered that to you, you, you said no. And now I come over here and I get a decent cup of coffee. You're welcome. A, like a Dak Prescott hey, cup let, of let coffee. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'll have breakfast for you every Thursday, if you'll let me know. Okay. Y'all hold him accountable for that. I every will. Thursday, breakfast. All right. Here's what we got. Small groups. Sunday, going to be talking about what small groups means, uh, what, what, what they are. Um, going to be sharing a, a passage of scripture that uh, a lot of people don't really preach on much. All right. It's a little tease there, but, uh, it's really cool how, uh, and I'll give you a little tease right now. Let me give you a little tease. All right. All right. Coming up this a week from today, one week from today, February 2nd, will be 21 years since I gave my life to Christ. Right. I gave my life to Christ on February 2nd That's cool. of 2002. Now, I had to do something after I gave my life to Christ. It wasn't like, hey, I just got saved. You know, now I'm just going to wait for the in days or yeah, wait wait till till I die. yeah. No, 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 no. So I'm going to be sharing about that. I'm going to be sharing about a passage that meant a lot to me in the early days of my walk. Hope it inspires you uh, to get plugged in with a, with a group of people uh, so you can uh, continue your journey of growing closer to God, growing closer to other people. So I'm excited about that. We're going to have cards that uh, at the end of the service, I'm going to have everybody say, I'm going to have everybody take out this card and if you're interested in a small group, I'm asking you just a few questions. You're going to answer those. You're going to turn it back to me. And then I'm going to plug you in to a small group, Edward. Yeah, that's exciting. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. It's a great um, time of the year if you've not been involved in a small group to start over. Uh, it's kind of what we've been talking about this whole mm -hmm. month. It's just starting over. Yeah. Uh, can't go back. Can't go back and change anything. Yeah, can't uh, go back and make me breakfast these nope. last six or seven Cannot Thursdays that. that you haven't. Wouldn't if but I could. But starting next Thursday, uh, you can make me breakfast. I hey, guess, guess what else is happening this Sunday? Uh, something about Kid Venture. Fifth, this Sunday. Fifth Sunday in Our Kid children. Venture. Generational ministry. Generational ministry. Get your kids there this Sunday, kindergarten through fifth grade in Kid Venture. For their fifth Sunday activity, you know what they're going to be doing, Crouch? Uh -uh. They're going to be making Valentine's cards for folks that are in nursing homes. Oh, that's cool. That's and cool. then we'll have somebody deliver those. So your kids will get to be a blessing to somebody. They're going to get to make their own special Valentine's Day card. And that will get in the hands of someone that is in a nursing home. And uh, we're really excited about that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I love our children's ministry. Love that uh, whole wing over there of what God does. I like wings, too. I like it's not wings. What I, was talking, I was talking about the building. Red Rooster building. has good rings. Cal Burners and Mineola the has building, good wings. The building, not that. Hey, one last thing we want to mention is Disciple Now weekends coming up in February. <sighs> if you have a 6th through 12th grader that has not signed up yet, 
Go online right now, shf.church, go to our student ministry page and get registered for Disciple Now. Uh, Shaq Hardy is speaking. Oh, uh, yeah. I know our adults have no idea who that oh, is. Oh, they know who Shaq is. He won three championships with the Lakers. That's the wrong Shaq. That's the wrong Shaq. Uh, it's close. Wrong shack, though. Um, he'll be uh, speaking that weekend. Also, he'll be sharing that Sunday morning, and we're excited to have him uh, at our church and at this area-wide disciple. Now, get your kids signed up. Don't let money stand in the way, man. I'm telling you, this is life-changing. If you need help uh, financially to get one of your students uh, to that weekend, let David know, our student pastor, David, at summithousefellowship.com, and get them signed up for that now. Jake, what else we got, bro? Well, just, man— Stuff. Hey, I got a question for you because I Lots noticed I noticed what you were doing a while ago. What was I doing? The camera is right up I here, know. and you keep looking at yourself. I know. I do that all the time. And that. then I looked at you a while ago too because your beard almost hit me in the chin, uh-huh. and you almost hit me in the face when you said, "You know this guy." Summer, we love you. Have a great weekend. If you're here Sunday morning, we're so glad you're here. Uh, We're looking forward to what God's going to do. Uh, Invite somebody with you. I hope you're answering those questions that I started off with last week. And that review, who you praying for, who you sharing your faith story with, who are you inviting to come to church with us this week? See you Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, Summit.